Hey everybody, welcome to Quarantine Cuisine. It is Thursday. Listen, we left our sign in LA uh, when we were doing the show there, and so I made one for you. I'm just gonna follow what Kimmel and Fallon do every night, and there you go. Quarantine Cuisine at Kat Cora. Goodbye. Now, let's get down to business, all right? So tonight, I have an incredible guest on. I have Karima Westbrook. She is an incredible actress, writer, producer. She stars as the devoted single parent Grace James in the hit series All American on the CW. She's I also, love that show. Uh, so good. She's also had diverse roles in television, film, and theater. She's guest starred in so many hit shows. I mean, Shameless, Masters of Sex, The Fosters, Mad Men. She's been on the big screen with George Clooney and Sur uh, Suburbicon. She's been in American Violet, Rum Diary with Johnny Depp. I mean, so many things. And recently, the most recent is, she's just been added to the cast of After We Collided, a film adaptation of the book series After. So, hey, we have Karima Westbrook on, and I'm gonna do something vegan tonight. I'm doing a cauliflower steak with an avocado chimichurri. And so I'm going to use my I recipe. I love cauliflower. And I love chimichurri. So there, and avocado. <laughs> so I love all these things. There is, so I am, I, I'm just, I love dinners like this. You know how, you know, it's great to have, um, you know, some proteins and things like this, but sometimes it's just good to have a clean, just really clean flavors for dinner. Very light, very healthy. This is one of those. And so what I have is I have a little bit of, um, I just took some cauliflower and cut it into steaks. Now, I did are you, are you going to wait for her? She's, well, she's going to oh, cook yeah. with you. Oh, that's right. She's cooking with me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get her on. Let's get Karima on here. Yeah, I, that's right. She was she was with the, one of the first guests that says, I want to do this with you. So, you know what I did? Just for that reason, I printed out my recipe. Because you wing it. <laughs> you know me. I always say, go to catcore.com. The recipe's there. I might have gotten this right or that right. And usually, it's exactly right, but... I don't really follow, I don't say I did, I took one large head of cauliflower and sliced it into one inch steaks. But that's what I did here. And Karima's gonna follow along and so when she comes on, we're gonna start cooking this and grilling. Cool. Now I'm using a grill pan. Yeah. What I was just gonna say a lot of people have been coming on and saying hi. Some a regular Shelby, Valerie. Hey everybody, show Valerie. Um, Rainia yeah, in the kitchen, everybody. Omar. Hey, Omar, I see Gigi. How are you? I see uh, Little Kitchen Academy says hey, hi. Little Kitchen Academy, Brian, Felicity, all the kids. They just announced um, they're doing a flagship in LA I can't with, wait. with you, which I know. is awesome. We're so excited. We're doing a flagship of Little Kitchen Academy here in LA. It is coming. It's going to be our first US. Um, location and I just, I'm so happy it's in LA. I mean, we're gonna have our kids working there. We're gonna send our kids there to cook. We're gonna be we're gonna be all over it. So be excited about that because it's every three year olds to teens, all the way up to teens, learning life skills, I mean, learning life skills that last forever, and they are so structured there in such a happy, good way that it's just fun. It's fun watching the kids cook. So it's gonna be David Kahn says hi. Hey David, how are you? Sweetified. Sweetified. All right. Well, it is exciting. I think everybody's on because they're just excited that we're close to the weekend. And you know, Kim Jackworth um, says hello. Hey, Kim. Kim Kim. You know what I just discovered, honey? When I did my hair back today, I just want to tell you this. This is the one great thing, you guys, about not getting your roots done, right? You know, yeah, my roots are coming in. I have no shame about that. I am okay with it, all right? But you always, when you, you just start seeing them creep up, you go get your hair done, right? You just cover it. I'm blonde. I go blonde. Well, this is my real hair color. But you know what I realized? I'm 53 years old and I don't have one gray hair. Y'all don't be hating now because I have no gray hairs at the age of 53. But I don't. I just realized that I have no gray hairs. That's because life is so relaxing with me. <laughs> That's right. Honey. It's all about you. It is. That's the truth. <laughs> Vanessa, Vanessa says, says hi. Scott says hi. Hey, Vanessa, Robin. Scott. Super excited. Jasmine. Hey, Jasmine. Jazzy. Hey, Jazzy. And Gigi. Hey, Patrick. Gigi. Hey, Patrick. Um, oh, I'm going to. Oh, Monica joined. Hold All on right. one second. Hey, Monica. Kar Karima. Is Karima. Baby Gray. House, Baby Gray on. Bay says, I love you. Oh, Kat. thank you, honey. Thank you. Love, love back. Oh. oh, she's already hey. cooking. Oh. Hi. Hello, already cooking. What? How are you? I love it. Awesome. I actually, for the first time almost, I think, ever, since I was in culinary school, I actually printed my recipe out. 
<laughs> oh, nice. I was looking at it on my phone. I was like, because I didn't know. I was like, I need to prep everything beforehand. So I'm like rushing, trying to get everything. That's all right. Oh, that's okay. We're good. We're good. I'm so glad you wanted to do this with me. This is such a, such a great dish. First of all, I love chimichurri. It's so healthy because it's got good olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, herbs, and lime, and all that kind of good stuff. Garlic, which is good for our heart, a little spice. And then mm -hmm. to do it with the cauliflower steaks and avocado, I just thought, okay, this is what I'm going to do for you. Because I, I, I knew you wanted to do something vegan, healthier, so I was like, this is the perfect recipe. Okay, you ready good. to go? I am, but you know, I do have a question. I didn't know how to cut the cauliflower. Oh, that's it a good like, question. That's a really good question. So you take that head of cauliflower. Do you have a head right there? Another head I do have a head right here. You got one. one. So you want to take the stem off the bottom, all right? Take the okay. stem off the bottom, so then you just have the head, right? Place it on your cutting board, and then cut, slice, slice down. So I cut it. You see how I cut it? For instance, this would have been how I cut it. Cut it widthwise down into one-inch slices on each. Until it, some of it's going to fall off the edges. Are going to fall off. You're going to get those three or four middle cuts that are really nice and intact, like that. Okay, so I just pull this off. I would just pull the bottom yeah. off or cut yeah. it off. You can pull. Oh yeah, you can just pull pull all the edges off, pull all the outside off, or you can just and then just cut, cut, it and off, cut right? it off. Wow, she got a muscle there. <laughs> oh yes, or you slice it off. Exactly. Oh, just slice it off. Okay. There you go. Okay. We are we are such big fans of you, such by the big way. Fans. Thank you. And we yeah. love your show. And I, what's I going on with that? Are you, are you guys going to be? taping another season i know you got picked up for another season we got renewed for season three so we're just thinking, yeah so you know with the stay-at-home orders and everything the industry we don't really know how the industry is going to move forward you know but that's right that's so um but we did get renewed so we're just kind of waiting uh to hear i guess you know what the process would be for um, everyone, really, you know, uh, working in t TV and film, how they let me see your let me see your let me see your head now, the head of your cauliflower. All right, I still have yeah. I still have I still have. Take this your part. knife and slice. Take your knife and slice that part off, just with your knife. There you go, and then you put the head down. Yep, slice that not, that little chunk off of there. There you go. Nice kitchen you got there. That's Thank you. Kitchen. All right, now you. what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that, now that that's off and it's, you can put it down, it's stem down. Okay. okay, put it stem down on the cutting board. Now you're just gonna cut through it at about an inch. Cut through it about, I don't know, inch. Start on the edges and then just start cutting it with about an inch pieces, inch, inch length, if you will. And you can save, Kat saves all the pieces. Any of the extra pieces and, and that fall off, just save them for something else. Cauliflower, rice, or in your, you put them in soup. I put in everything. I put, yeah, I can, you can chop it up really nice and fine for cauliflower rice. You can, you know. Yeah, I just tried it. cauliflower rice. It was really good. Yeah, it's I not mean, bad, huh? Yeah. It's filling, it's like, you know. Yeah, the little olive oil on it, different flavors. I think it's, you know. Really tasty. All right, how you doing? Almost there. All right. Then all you're gonna do, once you get that, Karima, once you get it sliced, perfect. Wow, you got some muscles. Look at those, look at those guns. <laughs> I get it from my mom. Out. Do you work out? Uh, it's, I, it's a little bit, I think it's hereditary. My mom has great arms, you know, so I think it's a, I think it's hereditary. So you got like you got some good luck, and I'm sure you do you do some you do some kind of fitness, and you look okay. like you're in good shape. All right, perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, those are perfect. Now you just want to put some olive oil on and brush them with olive oil. Put some salt and pepper on each side, and then put, either okay. put them in a saute pan, or you can have if you have a grill pan, you can use a grill pan like I'm doing on the stove. Okay. You know what? This one still has a little bit of the bottom on there. Should I cut just cut this off? You don't have to. Mine does too. So you see these pieces right here? It's okay oh, because it'll start getting uh it'll start cooking. It'll okay, start perfect. cooking the pan. You don't have to do that. You're good. You're good. So how are you okay, doing so in quarantine? 
I'm so, doing all right. You know, um, I feel like I've pretty much adjusted at this point. At first, it was a little, um, it just took a little while to get adjusted to it, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, it's kind of crazy. Are you quarantining but, by uh, yourself? Or are you quarantining with someone? Or Yeah. Yeah, so. You're by um, yourself? Or are you quarantining yeah, with somebody? Yeah, by myself. Oh, you can call us to cook anytime. Yeah, anytime. Yeah. Call us up. I definitely will. <laughs> Let's see. Amazing. Okay, so right. I'm putting the olive oil, putting the olive oil on it. I can yep. brush though, but I can just put. That's all right. You just drizzle it on. That's what okay. I did. I say brush it on in the recipe, but just drizzle it. Okay. It'll start spreading as you cook it. It'll start getting all nice and glazy. And so then you just want to put it in a hot. If you have a grill pan, great. If you don't, you can just use a large saute pan. So large pan that you have. You put the salt and pepper on it now or after? Yes, put the salt and pepper on it. Okay, hold on. Oh. Okay, there we go. So now, am I, putting, am I putting oil in the pan as well, at the bottom if, of the pan? If I'm you have the, room, if you have room, if you don't, you can do it in, in, in certain pieces. But if you have room to put it into a large saute pan, put the heat on high and then get the pan hot. And then you want to add your, your cauliflower down to the pan, down the pan and let it just start cooking. Okay. Yeah, put the olive oil, you definitely want to put a little olive oil in the pan for sure. Just okay. a little bit, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Getting there. Where, where are you from? Uh, Chicago originally. Oh, I love Let's Chicago. Talk about a good food scene. Oh, oh yeah. Is your family still back there? Yeah, I'm a family here. Oh, I love it. How often were you visiting before? Obviously, we're not. No one's flying now. But how often were you going back to Chicago? Because we love that I city. Know. I usually try to go when the weather is good, like um, during uh, the summer or the fall. Although last year I went during the winter time, but I try to go when the weather's good because it's just. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah, I don't blame you. I've stayed on. I've stayed on a hotel right on the on the water when uh -huh. it's been dead of winter with that wind blowing. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I understand why you go when it's spring and summer. Yeah, I don't miss what, that at all. What a great city. So, I mean, I'm, I'm a little behind. But, That's um, all right. Did so you I'm always want to be an actress? Yes. Oh, quick question. So I'm putting the salt and pepper on the cauliflower steaks before I put it onto the pepper. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you want to put the salt and pepper on it, put it in the fry, put it in your saute pan, and just start cooking away. You want to turn your, you have your heat on high to get the pan super hot, and then you're going to turn it down to medium high. Just turn it down a little bit so it doesn't burn. Okay. All right. I didn't know that these uh, these, uh, these uh, steaks are pretty uh, thick. Yeah, they're thick. You want to, yeah. It's like that's, yeah, that's why it's, you know, that we call them a steak because they are, you want a nice, it's for really, if you're not going to have, if you're not having a real steak, you're not having a piece of fish or chicken, this is kind of your, your main dish. This is your main dish and then the sauce yeah. you put on it or you can put, you know, rice with it, or you can put quinoa or whatever you want to with it. What do you, why are you giving that look rice to Rice and quinoa. I like how you do it, which is plain with a little bit of sauce, either tomato sauce or the avocado, chimichurri. Well, well, you really oh, I love it. it with the, what's right. it called? When you add the yogurt, the yeah. yogurt sauce to it. Like with the tahini, really is it tahini? tahini. But you, yeah. The way you really want it, my wife would love it if I did, like tomato sauce and mozzarella on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything with cheese. Make it more like a, a cauliflower par you know, parmesan. parmesan. All right, so how you doing, Karima? I'm good. They're, All right. They're in, they're in the pan. They're in? OK, you got that going? All right. Now, going. you just have to watch them. You're just watching them right now. I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit to just low. Now I've got mine nice and caramelized. You kind of want to get that look. You see how they got some browning on it, a little yes. caramelization on it. So once you get to that place, you can just like let it just kind of let it sit in the pan on low heat. Turn them occasionally because okay. now you just want to cook through. You have the look, you have the taste of it on the outside. Now you're just trying to cook them all the way through so they're a little tender inside. You don't want it too chewy. 
Yeah. Now, so that's on low. I'm going to walk away for a minute. You don't have to walk okay. too far. Just walking to a blender where I'm going to make my avocado. Um, and you can make it by hand as well. You don't have to make it in a blender. I like to make the base of my chimichurri sauce in a blender. Because okay. I think it's, and then I, then I fold in my avocado. But okay. on my recipe, let's, let's see what my recipe says. In my recipe, it says, pour it, all of it into a medium bowl. No, I didn't put it in. I changed it for me. I changed it for me. I changed. I have two recipes. I've got one chimichurri sauce. Mm -hmm. Some people like it chunky. Mm -hmm. There's a million, there's a thousand different versions of chimichurri sauce. Okay. You go to Argentina, you go, you know, where it was born, and you, or you go anywhere, you're going to see various ways to make it. So I have several different ways I like to make it. Sometimes I like to make it, chop it, everything by hand and fold it all together. Uh -huh. Sometimes I like to put it into a blender, and then I fold my avocado in at the end. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay. Are you ready, to, ready for me? Ready to, ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right. So we're going to put, take the top off our blender. All right, I've got my cilantro goes in. This is really an easy, this is my go-to sauce. One of my go-to sauces because it's so easy. And the reason it's so easy is because basically everything goes in and into the blender it's and the you puree thing. it. The next thing, so cilantro parsley goes in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then uh -huh. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of olive oil. All right. I'm going to put in two tablespoons. All right, that's about right. Okay. Two tablespoons. Then I have my garlic cloves. Then yeah. I actually just put those in. You don't really have to chop them up, but you can mince them a little bit and kind of chop them. Remember, everything's being chopped in the blender. So where are we at right now? Let's see. There you go. She's on it. Got it. Right. Now, one jalapeno with all the seeds out. Okay. Oh, all the seeds out. Okay. I <laughs> the seeds out of there. <laughs> seeds out. That's all right. Oh my god. You're good. I mean, you're keeping. You're you're doing it. I mean, I love it. You were the first. You were actually the first guest we've had on on sixty shows that has been like, I want to cook this recipe with you. So this yeah. is awesome. This is awesome for me. I thought it would be fun, you know. Um, I love it. We're so excited you want to do that. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God, I can't, I can't wait. This is so fun. One of, the, one of the things that I love to do is teach. So this is for me. I love doing this. All right. All right. So I just, I just, um, I just cut up, I just got another pepper and I'm removing the seeds because I, okay. I, I cut it up before with the seeds. Perfect. So I'm going to add in some lime. And some, uh, adding in lime here. Fresh lime goes in. You can just kind of, what I like to do with my lime is if they're a little bit hard, sometimes you can put them in the microwave for like three seconds and make them nice and soft and then get more juice. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let them sit out for a little while. So I just kind of put my fingers in the middle of it and squeeze mm -hmm. all the pulp and everything to get everything out of it. And I like to throw my, my, the empty, uh, the empty, uh, what do you call it, babe? Skin of my lime into the dispose off because it makes your dispose on your sink smell good. You put the skin of the lime in there? In the dispose off. No, not in the blender. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it just makes your, it just makes your sink smell good. All right, now. I think wait, we're, wait. Yeah, I'm not going in. I'm not doing that. I'm just checking my cauliflower. We're good. Jalapenos going in. Yeah, jalapenos going in. Then your lime. Mm -hmm. Boom. All right. Okay, I'm all caught up. All right, salt, pepper. Do you have measurements on that, or it's whatever? Uh, just to just uh, do a pinch, or you could actually, if you want to, if you feel more comfortable. You can actually taste it after you've blended it and add what you want. That's okay. a good way. That's a good way for people to start. For me, I can eyeball it. I've just been doing it so long, but I would just do a little pinch to begin with. You can always. This is my rule of thumb with salt and pepper and seasoning. Add a little in the beginning, a little taste it. Add a little in the middle, and then 
add a little at the end. That way you can always put more in, but you can't take it out once it's in, if it's too salty. Okay. So that's a good rule of thumb. All right, next I'm gonna add in, I'm just gonna add a touch of water. Just have a little water beside you in case it gets too thick. Just a like a little, like a little spritz of water, like a little bit, just, okay. just to get it started. All right, now let's start blending. Expressions I'm getting to. It's like a cup. That doesn't even look like a half a cup. That's a cup. That's a that is um, not a cup. <laughs> I'm a chef. I wing things all the time, but that's why I have my recipe because I want to be a very good teacher today. All right, Karima, how are you doing on your? How's your cauliflower looking? Cauliflower is good. I just uh, I just flipped it again. Oh, nice. All right. Out of the way. <laughs> what? Because you tell her. Okay. I, was, I was always good at math. That was the thing. Not cooking, but math. Cooking math, honey. There we go. I wasn't that good at math. But I'm good at cooking. What did I say? I think oh, baking is math, you know? Cooking too, I guess. Well, I mean, I'm going to have a I'm going to have a cup. Eight. How many ounces how many ounces are the I have no idea. Sixteen. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, that's enough for the math quiz right now. Okay, we're doing enough homeschooling right <laughs> All right, here we go. How's it how's your uh, chimichurri looking? This is um Oh yeah. Yeah, it's looking good. It looks pretty. It's very bright and vibrant. That's the way it should be. The lime actually helps that. The thing about making a chimichurri is that you really do have to, if you're going to, if you're going to make it ahead of time for everybody out there as well, if you're going to make it ahead of time, don't put the lime juice in it. Blend everything. Say you're going to make it the day before. Blend everything. Do not put the acid in because acid will turn it brown eventually. So in a few hours, I put this in the refrigerator or maybe even tomorrow, it's going to be brown. So don't put your acid in until you're ready to eat it. We're going to eat this now. And I'm sure Karima's going to eat this now. So we can put it in. But if you want to make this ahead, do everything except add the juice, the lime juice. Add that when you're ready to serve it. That's okay. just a tip on oxidation. It's a scientific word called oxidation, which means things that turn brown. So I'm sure you've all seen that, where you put, maybe you put something, even, even avocados, you've seen, if you don't put acid on avocados, or you don't put the seed back in it, like this, 
When you wake up tomorrow, you have a half, half an avocado, it's going to be brown. And that's called oxidation. So it's when oxygen hits, hits a, you know, a particle, turns it brown, gets inside of it. Now, I'm sure there's some, some smarty pants out there that's going to tell me exactly what oxidation is later tonight. And that would be great because I want to know exactly the definition. Somebody tell me exactly. I know what oxidation is, but somebody tell everybody. Give us the, the full definition of that later tonight. All right. Now, Karima, how you doing out there? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So now what we're going to do. Everybody loves your kitchen, by the way. I'm looking at comments coming up. Cool they kitchen. love you and your kitchen. It's a cool yeah, kitchen. Really I'm like, look at that backsplash you got going on. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You got some design going on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm taking the avocado. Uh -huh. And I'm going to show everybody out there. And you, Karima, if you already know this trick with avocados. Okay? Yes, I'm going to slip my finger. I'm going to wash my hands. Don't worry. Everybody. Oh, it could, you don't have to wash them for us. <laughs> That's true. I know. But, you know, sometimes people are like, Remember, everybody, we are the ones eating this food, <laughs> not you guys. <laughs> right. Remember, my okay. wife eats this food, you know. The one that I French kiss all the time, it's okay if I lick my fingers and put it back on the food. It's okay. All right, so, you guys, I'm going to take this avocado, right? Well, how beautiful that is. Now, what you want to do is, to be safe, you put it on the cutting board, okay? Now, this is a quick way to dice an avocado. So, you're going to run it through the, the knife through it. Mm -hmm. Make a nice little inch or so, half inch through there, two or three slices through it. Then go through widthwise, three slices. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a spoon and you're just going to pull it all out. See how it's all diced up, ready to go? It's ready to go. All you got to do is just spoon it right out of the, the skin and voila, you have diced avocado in there. And I got a piece of skin in there too, but that should pull out. All right, here we go. So... Now, I, I cut mine up already. What's that? She has hers already. <laughs> oh, girl, right, go. Yeah. All right, see? So what I'm going to do now, Karima, oh, we're done. All we're going to do now, that is amazing. That looks so good. So pretty, so bright. That's exactly the way it's supposed to look. That's awesome. Okay. Well, I need and then what you're going to do is you're going to fold in. You already have your avocado in there. This is so good. Yeah, it's so pretty, isn't it, honey? Yeah, that. Yeah, that looks amazing. I'm gonna add a, just a pinch more salt to it. Again, remember, middle, beginning, middle, and end, you can season. Wow, look at those nice chunks of, of you just fold all that avocado oh, in. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! Yes. It's so good. Oh, you have some competition, honey. Oh, damn, I do. <laughs> Oh, oh, we got an Irish oh. chef, avocado chimichurri going on. <laughs> That's amazing. That so looks now, so good. So good. So bright. It's exactly what it's supposed to look like. It's beautiful. So now what you want to do is just, you're going to put your, you're going to just take your piece of cauliflower when it's ready. Mm -hmm. Mine's nice and tender now. And I have a little extra something special that I just pulled out. I had extra, and a little, little color action there going on only because we had it it's because you're wearing purple oh yeah i am wearing purple all right all right so that's that you just lay the steak down uh-huh and now you're just going to take your chimichurri spoon it right over right over it just beautiful just give it a nice little spoon of chimichurri right on top so pretty right isn't that a gorgeous sauce i love wow. it wow so good garlic i can smell the garlic in it and just such a pretty such a pretty plate i know you add the I, when you make your tahini over the cauliflower i know you always put the uh what's it called the pine nuts on it i know you love the pine i love nuts. pine nuts on it i know can you yeah, add you pine can, nuts we can add pine nuts yeah we don't have to everybody can make it the way i'm adding pine nuts for my wife where's our pine nuts honey Maybe in the freezer, like you put all the nuts? Maybe. Let's see here. They might be, actually. I think they'll want them. I'm putting a little more salt in my um, 
Chimichurri. Yeah, add, add the seasoning. That's great. If you have to season it, that's a good thing. It's be, it's taste everything that you make and then add your seasoning. Hey, bud. Yeah? I have no idea where they are. Oh, I want to find that. Oh, I think they're, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me Where see. Yeah. And so you said just put it on top of the cauliflower? Just put it right on top of the cauliflower like this. So I just spoon it right on top. Okay. Can you see that? Yes. Just spoon it right over. Get fancy with it. You want to do a little chef thing going on here, a little <laughs> like that, you know. <laughs> and press your friends. They're like, yes, I'm bad in the kitchen. Yes. I don't know where they're at. I'll take walnuts in mine, though. Okay. I'll Sorry. do walnuts. After we're done, I'll put some walnuts all over. Okay. Thanks, Just babe. for you. And then you can do something like if you wanted to put, for instance, you wanted to put some pine nuts or something like that. If you have something you really love, this is perfect for that as well. You can definitely do that. And, I mean, really, literally, that is the dish. You can even take a little uh, wedge of lime oh. and put it on the side, too. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Yes, that looks nice. amazing. You are incredible. You are a good cook. Really? You really are. I mean, you obviously. You tell me you're an incredible actress because you're like you're, that direction is like you're on it. You're like yes. <laughs> you're like I got this. I got this. That's incredible. Thank, thank you for cooking with me. So I'm excited. Yes. No, thank you for showing me this meal. I'm excited to see. Um, oh my god. Taste. Oh yeah, definitely. I am so, I mean, so tell us, now that we have our dinner ready, now we can chat a little bit. So yes. what is, I know that you're now, you're this great show. You guys, when is production, do you think? I know it's, you guys are probably in some pre-productions and different things for third season. You did get greenlit for a third season, which we're so excited about, by the way. And um, has there been any talk about when production is going to resume for all of you or anything like that? Or is it still kind of uncertain? Yeah, I haven't heard anything. Yeah. yeah. So, how's your family doing in Chicago with every, with quarantining? Oh, thank you for asking. They're doing good. They're doing pretty good. Um, it's it's nice that they're all together. Yes, so that helps. You know, when you have family there with you, so they're good. How many thank siblings you do you have? I have one older sister. And is she in Chicago as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. So she's there close yes. to your parents. So that's yes. probably. That's probably nice that one of you guys is close, so you can, you know, keep an exactly. eye on them. Exactly. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they're staying home. And but you, you're a writer too, so this mu this must be a, like a nice time, maybe to put things right. on paper. Yeah. Or... yeah. Um. Yeah, it is a good time to do it, but it, it, honestly, like I thought that you know initially it seemed like the perfect time to be like in hustle mode and get things done and. But that just wasn't my experience. It just took me a while to kind of adjust to everything. Yeah. So I was more, I was doing a lot of reading and researching. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's great. Cool. The, the creativity is kind of kicking in now. But initially, I was like, I feel like I was in the twilight zone. Like, a little shell shock, like hey. everybody. Huh? A little shell shock, like everybody was. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't so believe I, it. It took time for everything to sink in. You know, I know we had Maria Shriver on, and she was saying that everybody has their own pace with all yeah. of this going on around us. That everybody's exactly. not there, you know, as fast as others are, or maybe they're just processing it. And it is so true. And I think that especially with or that she said maybe well. they're just taking a deep breath, like the Earth is. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe they're just minute. like, wow, this is exactly this, is, this exactly. is starting to feel good in a way. Um, yeah. on, on one on one end. That we can all kind of be authentic and a little more just uh, just be for a minute. Exactly, you know? exactly. And how are you well, doing? Well, you've been pretty good. You've been doing pretty that? good. How yeah. are you doing? You doing pretty good. Okay, good. We're doing pretty good. We're uh, you know we have six boys and and so we're just nice. we're loving. You know we've had more meals together. We we would love to be eating more meals together all the time. But we mm -hmm. before this happened, we travel a lot. We're on a plane two or three times a week. So it's been nice yeah. to have every single meal with our kids for yeah. almost three months now. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, nice. we just be present a little bit with the kids and help them with school and, you know, everything. So it's been really nice in that sense. And, you know, it's been a creative process for us, too. I love, 
I love to paint. I love, you know, we love to do different things. We write, mm -hmm. we produce, do things like so. It's nice for us to be creative as well and be able to breathe yeah. for a minute and just stop and be creative. Yeah. So that's been, you know, kind of a silver lining as well. But, um, yeah. you know, so everybody's healthy. I want to ask you, you know, you've worked with George Clooney. You mm -hmm. worked with Johnny Depp. What would they like to work with? Everybody wants to know, I'm sure. Oh, they were, they were great. They were great. They were both really, really great. You know, uh, George Clooney is a sweetheart, uh, very sharp. Uh, Johnny Depp the same. You know, you know, Johnny Depp is like a big character actor, so I didn't really know what to expect, but he was very, like a funny guy. You know, uh, never knew what to expect, but very nice. They both were very great. nice. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Well, you definitely, uh, obviously, huge talent. I mean, super impressive resume of the things that you've done between television and movies and producing and writing and all the things you're doing. I mean, you know, and it's it's just an honor for us just to be able to talk to you, have a, you know, cook with you. This has been so fun. We got to do it again. Yes. And, yes. Uh, you know, call us anytime. I know you're you're solo in quarantine. You can call call okay. us up anytime. You got to ask okay. her what what she thinks it's teaching at. Like you. I am. I'm gonna get there, honey. <laughs> She's I, ready to get to that. I'm flower. looking at the food. I'm like, honey, that's I know me too. Like, uh, I'm like, I, I gotta try this. You. So, Karima, what do you think this is teaching us? Uh, this moment in time. Yes. Um, uh, to be, to, to kind of be, and it's really given us opportunity to check in with ourselves. Um, it's really teaching us to look at our own state of health. I think it provides an opportunity for, it really has highlighted that we actually need to look at the state of our own health. Um, I think it's really providing us the opportunity to, to go within yeah um, and it's teaching what really matters most you know um i, I feel like from, from my own experience a lot of the things that i found that i was concerned about before this none of that matters now you know and so a lot of reality checks a lot of grounding and um so i think the, off the top of my head those are some of the biggest things as far as really looking at the state of our own health and really realizing what's important in life you know um, during times like this, you tend to want to um, reach out to family and um, you, you see where your, your heart really lies. You know, yeah. so uh, a lot of great revelations during this time and it really provides an opportunity to, to go within and to really examine your, your faith and um, your perspective, right. you know, on, on life in general and, and what you deem is important. And, a lot of times, you, for at least for me, I realize that a lot of the things that I thought were important really are not that important. That's so, so that's a good thing. I mean, like that's great. Yeah. It's like, oh, I don't need this. I don't need that. You know. And then you you spend all this money. You you have these spending habits, and then when you're indoors, and you like, I don't need that. I don't. Need, you start to see what how frivolous you may have lived, or how you buy things that you don't necessarily need. And then when you start to consider your health, you definitely just stop buying a bunch of junk food. You know, you just, it's, um, I mean, so in a lot of ways it's, 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 it's good, you know, and um, yeah. it's good to hear the birds chirping in the middle of the night. It's <laughs> sort of like, it's so like the, the interesting oneness is happening, you know? I love that, the interesting oneness. I love that. Well, that is beautifully said and, and beautiful thoughts and, it's so, it's, it, you know, definitely rings so true um, in so many ways. And, you know, you are just super inspiring. You have been. The fact that you were like, I want to cook this recipe. And, you know, we loved you before, now it's tenfold. So you are, <laughs> you. you are incredible. You're a beast in the kitchen, by the way. Thank you. you. I'm amazing. trying. I'm trying I to that. That's <laughs> great. Thank you. That's great. Well, a lot of people are commenting, you're my yes. favorite all-American person. They're like, hi, Thank Grace you. James. They're just, everybody is just waving to you, saying how gorgeous you are. Love all American. Oh, yeah, you. Yeah, you got a lot of fans out there. That's amazing. Thank you definitely you. have fans with us. So thank you thank so you. much, Karima. You're awesome. We can't wait to see more of you. And thank everyone. you. Thank you too, Kat. Thank you so okay. much for... Providing us with this wonderful recipe, and I'm, I'm looking forward to eating it. 
<laughs> we are too. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Have a great rest of the weekend. Well, we too, y'all. Okay, okay right. take care. All right, you All right. too. All right, bye-bye. Wow, Karima Westbrook, she is incredible. And she just blew through this recipe like it was no big deal. I'm like so impressed with her. Wow. Well, hey, I'm going to recap this. That was so amazing because I haven't had any guests who were really like so determined to do a recipe with me. So that was really cool. I hope to do more of that with some of our guests coming up. And um, she had such great words of wisdom. And, and I, I would tell you, for as many shows as we've done on Quarantine Cuisine, every single person that we've had on here, influencer, leader, incredible talents, whatever it is, whatever they do from whatever industry or walk of life, they've had such incredibly different things and ways of expressing you know, themselves and what this is teaching us. And that has taught us so much. And it's opened my eyes and my mind to so many different things. So thank you all for that. And thank you all at home too. And what I'm going to do here, what I've done here is this incredible that Karima and I did, we have this grilled cauliflower steak, this incredible, this is, look, guys, this is a sauce that you will not forget and you will make all the time. Because I'm telling you, it's so simple. You just put herbs in, whatever herbs you have on hand. This is also a great sauce. If you have herbs you need to use up, this is a great sauce. Make the chimichurri. There are no rules to it. You know, all you need is acid, garlic, olive oil, and herbs, and whatever else. If you want to put some spice in it, you can. If you want to use basil, oregano, and whatever else you have, you can. I even added avocado today, which just makes it even more decadent and yummy and healthy. So, um, you, know, you know, just blend away whatever you have on hand. And then I just put it right over this cauliflower steak. I did nothing to the cauliflower except cut it. I put it right onto the grill pan, or you can put it in a saute pan salt, pepper, because this has so much flavor in it. That's all you need on cauliflower. You don't need to put anything else on there. This is perfect the way it is. This is just a, so such a great dish. I'm going to put some uh, nuts, maybe pine nuts, if I can find yes. those, honey. I know they're in have the little them. package. They're somewhere. Yeah. We have them here. I'll find they're them They're in the freezer. I will, sure. I will make the effort Thank you, to baby. look, even if it I love takes you. me all night to find <laughs> No, nuts. I don't. I'm going to uh, eat this in like five minutes. Okay. Well, anyway, you guys. Diane said my herb garden is going nuts right now, so this is uh, great. That's incredible. Great. I love that. And honey, you got to show off our little garden here. Oh, it's growing. It's our, look at, we got leaf. We have leafy greens. We have some lettuce. We have basil. What else? We have oregano, dill. Uh, it looks like cilantro in the back. We have tomatoes, little cherry tomatoes that will be popping up pretty soon. Yep. Look at those little. I mean, the vines are getting strong. I mean, these are strong vines. I can feel them. They're just like. You know, they are tough little vines, and they are so healthy, and they grew so fast. So, you know, those are, we're excited about that. Hey, everybody, tomorrow, guess what? TGIF, yes, we made it to the weekend, and tonight is Thursday. Enjoy Thursday for all that it's worth. You guys are incredible. You know, I just have the best community out there. I love all of you, and I'm giving you a big food hug. Thank you again to Karima Westbrook, amazing talent and uh, a fantastic cook as well. Thank you, and thank you to all of you. Giving you a big food hug.